How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to Iconic. Now, episode number one went up, and your support was fantastic. So, thank you so much for that. The support was amazing. The feedback was sensational, and we will be implementing some of that feedback coming from next episode. But in today's episode, I wanted to cram in so many games so we do get the coin section of upgrading the team. But, um, yeah, we cram in so many games in today's episode trying to get into the weekend league. But, lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Smash it like on it yet again. Let's aim for a thousand likes, and if you do want any Cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes. Head on over to g2a.com, use that code M89. Every single link that you will need is right there in the description below. And of course, right now in Thierry Henry's journey, we are at Monaco. We need three Monaco players within the squad at all times. So we have uh, five currently in Raggy, uh, the left back George. We have Niang. Uh, is it Niang? I think it's Triori, actually. Triori at the right centre mid spot. We have Mietz here, and we have the Brazilian cam as well. The rest of the team, we have Pioneer and Nets. Mukulele at right back. We have the Polish guy, I don't know the name. Of Rabiu and Ninja at striking, of course, we have Thierry Henry. But like I said, lads, we're gonna cram so many games in today's episode. And some of the ideas I got from you was a sub option where you can have a player from the last kind of team that you played for on the bench, whether it be his whole career, like uh, Thierry Henry again, from Barcelona to Arsenal, Juventus, etc., etc., etc. Even France could be on the bench at all times, so you can call in a reserve from the 45th minute onwards, similar to Fatal in that aspect. So, and the other ones were or some like um, the rules for the foot champions. Sometimes we will have a full rare squad and we can't upgrade because some of the upgrades in foot champions don't allow us to do that. But I think I'm going to add coins to that. So like bronze one, 10k, silver, 10k, like 10k more. This uh, bronze three, 10k, bronze two, 20k, bronze three, 30k, silver two, silver one, etc, etc, all go up by 10k each time, so we do get coins to upgrade the team in the future, and uh, yeah, looking at doing that, you're probably seeing the graphic on the screen right now about how that's going to work, so lads, without any further ado, I told you there's a lot of gameplay in today's episode, let's get into the games. So here we go then lads, we're jumping straight into the daily knockout tournament, of course there is incentive, so winning, and that is a starter from the league club or nation and that is your choice that's why i want to win it and get into the weekend league this way of course we kind of qualify this week through default through me qualifying last week and um yeah in terms of the first game it's a one nil victory because he did rage quit the 13 minutes in he dropped his pad after i scored the first goal with Sierra and Ray. so we get one upgrade out goes pioneer in comes Lafont. Lafont's a good young goalkeeper in real life. I thought he'd have a debut to remember, but um, it turns out to be the debut from hell. Against Henrik Larsson, Aubameyang, Firmino, Moya, Fernandinho, Kante, etc, etc, etc. But in this game, we started quite well. Ander Herrera, Ander Herrera, but she was through balls to Ninja, and Ninja puts it in the bottom bins to make it 1-1 in the game. And by the way, I'm only showing you the goals I score in this, because if I showed you the goals... Everyone scored, and you'll, you'll see by the goal, like the final goal scorer in line of uh, this game, it literally would have took 40 minutes. I'm not about the 40 minute life because I can't talk that long, man. This ninja makes it 3 1 in the game, and I thought we had it wrapped up when it was 4 1. It's uh, Brasilia with the free ball, and look at that for a finish. Thierry Henry, eat your heart out. That is literally Thierry Henry in a nutshell. How good he is on this game. It's 4 4 at this stage. Thierry Henry makes it 5 4, 75 minutes in the game. I thought I had the game wrapped up. It's 82 minutes in, Thierry Henry capitalizes on a mistake, the defender moves away, it's 6-4, and then what happens, I'm almost embarrassed to show you the final scoreline, but um, <laughs> there it is, there it is lads, I don't know what to say, we got beat 11-6, 11-6, double digits, LaFonte had a debut from me. Hell. So, um, yeah, we do get one upgrade because Thierry Henry did get a hat-trick. And then comes in Bula because the right centre made Triori. He just, he didn't cut the mustard. And his stamina towards the back end of the games is what let me down an extra time. Is what allowed me to concede after goal, after goal, after goal. Which, um, <laughs> it's not what I want, man. It's not what I want. We are 1-0 down in our return to the DKT. And, so uh, yeah, Thierry Henry cuts it back to Ninja. And he makes it 1-1. And kind of... Uh, Things are restored. We're, we're looking good now. It's Bashila on the ball again. Bashila is going to chip into the back post and Thierry Henry towers above his man. That's what he can do as well, Thierry Henry. Yeah, very tall in this game. He's good in the air. But um, yeah, we get pegged back again this game. We are 3-2 down before Thierry. Stop that. Stop that. What's a goal? Over the top of the keeper, back of the net. It is 3-3 in the game. The second half comes around. Through ball to Ninja. He's no slouch on this game. And for me, he's the best silver striker on the game. That's a big statement, by the way. But 
He's strong, he's fast, he's powerful, he's clinical in front of goal, and he will score many a goal for your team as Thierry Henry goes through again, and he puts it in the bottom corner to get yet another goal in this game, and the rage quit in that game, we kind of did deserve, we had 14 shots to his 7, so we doubled the amount of shots and the shots on target, so we kind of prove again, we've got 5 silvers to replace, and the players are going out, and these players come in, it's, it's Jemison at the back, I do believe, of Monaco, and Remy Kabila comes in a cam, Kabila, I've always liked him on this game, He's always got this kind of, he's got his uh, face on by the way, but um, yeah, he's always got this kind of uh, grace about him, this flairfulness side, and that's what I want in this series, I just want to have fun uh, with it, so he comes into the team, and Thierry Henry uh, is kind of um, capitalising upon it. Uh, Remy Cabela coming to the team, uh, with the assist for Cabela the straight away, and Thierry Henry backs his second, 2-0, uh, nine minutes in, of course, we're against a shite team, I mean, this guy... He probably admits it's a shy team, but he's in the like, second round or third round, so that's not too bad. As Ninja again capitalizes on a mess up at the back to make it 3 0. Then Sierra and Reed dances through his man, gets the ball quite far out, um, ball roll, and then he just verses it in the bottom corner. It's 4 0 against Sierra and Reed. I want to see what he's like with the big boys in his team because around the small fries, like the ninjas, etc., etc., Sierra and Reed is shining. It's uh, it's uh, another goal. Not Sierra and Reed, but it's Cabela on his debut, and it is 6 0 in the game before we make it 7 against 10 men by the way, Ninja runs on through, Ninja with the ball, cut back and it's, um, it's Wimmer with the own goal, I tried to get another goal for Thierry Henry, who I do believe scored like 3 or 4 in that game, but uh, we do win 7-0 and we do get some more upgrades to show you, so we got 3 silvers to replace and um, I'm going to replace the fullbacks, Mugaleli and George, in comes Congolo left back and Teti at right back, of course Monaco is the kind of triangle on the left hand side now, so we've got the Monaco players into the squad before we come against Mulang Lang, and he's got a nice team. He's got uh, Arsenal's Aaron Ramsey, the inform of Mesut Ozil at Cam. We're 1-0 down at this stage. Thierry Henry gets the ball, plays the through ball to Ninja, and Ninja misses his chance, and then what the hell happens there? Thierry Henry is the beneficiary, and makes it 1-1, 12 minutes in. We are 3-1 down. It's just not going well for us, man, because... I just can't get into the flow, and what I say by getting into the flow is getting into the rhythm of, um, because this ch t this team changes all the time, like every single game, if Thierry Reis scores a hat-trick and we lose, the team still changes, so I'm trying to get used to different players every game, but again, on this game, that's what you want to do, you don't want to stick with the same boring team, game after game after game, you want to switch it up all the time, as Thierry Henry makes a 3-4 in the game, but we're 6-3 down, can Thierry Henry get an assist, yes he can, it goes to Cabela, chips it over, and it's uh, Ninja who puts it in the back net to make it 4-6 in the game, 75 minutes in and we make it 5-6 later on Cabela on the ball into Ninja Cabela does well I mean he wastes his time he runs on through then Cabela cuts it back to Thierry Henry who puts it in the net to make it 5-6 and um, that's 7-6 um, Jesus Christ not even 7-6 7-5 but we do get an upgrade another because we haven't only got one upgrade we got two because we hit a milestone in that game so out comes Ninja and in comes a milestone play and you might be wondering what's that milestone it's a total amount of goals that he scored for Monaco 28 goals so for that we bring in a creator a playmaker from the club and that is going to be Lamar he's got the top assist this season and Lamar does come into the score I would have like put his footmas in there but unfortunately I don't have the footmas card so I can't do that in this game Florian Soban you have a kind of player that could to come in and we change formation by the way we're in 4-4-3-2-1 four, four, or something like that but Soban comes in at right forward he scored the first Lamar scored the second so Lamar who came in for his creativity does create the third goal here Thierry Henry running through one on one that's a lovely finish man I did expect him to kind of open up his body and put it in with his right foot he actually put it in with his left foot not a bad finish before Toban does that and again in terms of best like non rares in terms of best silvers we're going to find them all out in this series because we're going to go through many many leagues many many players and many many kind of players that you guys don't use and Tovan is amazing this game for a non rare he really really is and the silver of course I mentioned Ninja Ninja and Darbo by the way Darbo used in Fatal Slamar bangs one in I just wish I'd like um his footmas card I really do wish I did have that card but his um his upgraded version the 84 rated card is doing the business as we get another upgrade and it's gonna be Thiago Silva we're on to the rares we can upgrade those non-rares to rares and it doesn't matter what rating and Thiago Silva is the first player to come in as we match up against uh Frank Ribery we got Muriel in there we got Dembele in there but unfortunately we get nothing from that kid because we get B4 water Thiago Silva's uh influence in the game was non-existent so we 
we jump back into the DKT here after getting no upgrades whatsoever from that game. And it's quite unfortunate, but sometimes it can happen as the cross comes in. And it's um, Begovic on the ball, but he doesn't deal with it. He rolls it out to Lamar. And Lamar, again, is the beneficiary of some stack defending and makes it 1-0 in the game before it's 1-1. And Lamar runs on through. I'm going to enjoy this card. I'm going to enjoy this card because he's got a hell of a left foot and he will score goal after goal as Thierry Henry demonstrates his abilities from range and makes it 3-1 against the Leicester City badge who has, like, abbreviated his team to in RTG, which, if he's doing an RTG, respect to him. But Thierry Henry was on another one this game. Makes it 4-1. And he brought it back. He actually made it three goals in the game. But we do win four goals to three and we do get more upgrades. So, in terms of who I'm going to upgrade next, I don't know. I don't know. The keeper is not impressing me, so the keeper comes out. In comes Subasic, of course. I could have brought in, like, Trap or someone like that. Another rare goalkeeper from Liga. But uh, Subasic is a Monaco player. He's a high-rate goalkeeper, and he should be good on this game before we come against that team, which um, it made me sick. I, I, I literally was um, frothing at the mouth because... That team against my team, it shouldn't happen. It really shouldn't happen. But Thierry Henry shows why he's up there against these teams. But we fall 2-1 behind. Before two man through ball, two Thierry Henry runs on through. Can he make it 2-2 in the game? Of course he can, lads. He's not going to miss that opportunity. He puts it in the bottom corner. It's 2-2 against this mega team, this multi-million coin team. Thierry Henry has shown some other class in this game. Makes it 3-2. And that's how the game finished an extra time. We win against that mega team with like our uh, kind of non-rare slash goal team we did very very well and we do get more upgrades but i was proud of that performance man i really really was so alongside tiago silva in comes Marquinhos. so let's send it back um it just wasn't good enough just wasn't good enough jemison i think it was so um yeah out he comes and we play boys to men i think this is the semi-final now of the dkt and we are three nil down after half time, we changed things around. We went 4 and 2 on 2. Uh, Lamar had striker, Thierry and Ray had striker, and um, it worked. Tovan had come, of course, as Tovan gets the ball deep in the field. He plays it to Lamar, tried to go back to Tovan. It's not even Tovan, it's Sanson who came in the team, and Sanson puts it in the back of the net, and Sanson came in uh, with the last victory, I do believe it was, because uh, Thierry and Ray did get a hat trick. So, on race here again, Thierry and Ray, back of the net. He scored so many goals in this episode, man. I just can't keep up with Lamar's got the ball. It's 3 3 in the game. The comeback is well and truly completed when he makes it 4 3. Thierry Henry. I love this card. I love this card. Now, I'm happy I started this series with a Thierry Henry because he's had such a rich career and he's so good on this game. He's scoring goal after goal after goal as Lamar makes it 5 3 in this game. And again, I'm just proud of the team. We did quite well. This is a semi final, by the way, of the DKT. Henry rounds the players and he makes it 6 3 in the game before we make it 7 3 later on Thierry Henry again with the chip over Schmeichel and it goes in there to make it 7 3. So from 3 0 down at half time, he's only 3 shots, by the way. We dominate the second half after switching to the 4 1 2 1 2. And that's what we want to do. We want to kind of adapt to games and stuff like that as more players come into the team. Fabino and Danny Alves come into the squad for the left centre mid and the right back of Tete. So the team is looking strong as we move on in the final. But there is one kind of thing that you're going to miss here. Um, well, you're not going to miss them. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. And Cristiano Ronaldo dominated me. Uh, and made it 3 1 in the game. I think Ronaldo actually scored a hat trick. So, in terms of me completing the DKT, it's still not done. You're still not going to get a choice at the end of this episode because we didn't win the DKT. But, lads, let's see what we started with. Let's see what we ended with. So then, lads, that was one mammoth gaming session. I mean, it took me four hours to complete all of those games. And, um, yeah, we uh, edited down into, like, nine minutes of gameplay, which um, it does take its toll. But um, I'm quite proud of what the team has become uh, from what we started with in today's episode. What we started with is what you're seeing on your screen right now. What we ended with is what you're seeing on your screen right now. So Basic comes in. Uh, Danny Alves, Thiago Silva, Marquinhos, Congolo still left back. We need to upgrade him. Uh, and Toban, Sanson is in there. Miete is still in there. We have Fabino coming in the squad. Uh, we have Lamar and, of course, Thierry Henry. And in the next episode, we want to replace Toban and we want to replace Congolo. And, of course, uh, the kind of changes that you guys wanted to make, the substitutes will come in. Uh, and they will be in effect. And I do believe with the substitutes, I can qualify. And I should be able to qualify with this squad now. We're still scoring a hell of a lot of goals. I'm just conceding a lot. Maybe that's my custom tactics. Maybe it's the formations changing all the time. We had 4-3-1-2. Uh, we had 4-3-2-1, um, of course, like you can see on the screen. 4-1-2-1-2 uh, one, two, one, two in game. Uh, sometimes, so I need to find one formation uh, and stick to it. I think once we find that formation, uh, and you can suggest the formations as well in the comment section below. Uh, of course, once we find that formation, uh, 
I reckon we'll be doing well. I really reckon we will be doing really well. Be in the, the weekend league this weekend, of course. And that's why I wanted to bash the games out because I want to have a competitive side for our first weekend league on this series. And <laughs> um, yeah, I want to do well. I really want to do well in the weekend league and Sierra and Rhea. Will he guide us to glory? Will he not? But um, you're going to find out this weekend, of course. So that's going to be it for episode number two of Iconic, the Thierry Henry edition. Lads, if you have enjoyed, you know what to do. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Sorry there is no kind of upgrade choice for you guys today. Once we win the DKC, there will be one. But I'm also thinking of adding a rule where we upgrade regardless of each episode. Each episode we upgrade one player. That comes down to you. Let me know if you want that kind of idea implemented into this series. That will make it more interesting for you and more interactive with you as well so if you want that kind of rule implemented alongside the others which i mentioned right in the start smash a like and let me know in the comment section below but that's gonna be it lads like i did say like a thousand times smash a like subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and as always lads i will catch you all next time